Bull Gang, what's happening? What's cracking, lagging, and what's popping, baby? It's your boy Africa to Monstera coming at you guys with your April 2020 love tarot reading. I hope you guys are well. If so, let me know down in the comments down below. Keep in mind this reading is general. If it resonates, that's awesome. If not, it's not your message. Feel free to check out any other amazing tarot readers that we got here on YouTube, okay? These messages may resonate backwards or vice versa. So take them how they resonate if they apply to your particular situation. If you guys would like, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is all linked down below. And you guys can also check out my sister and her boyfriend's YouTube channel. That is the first link in the description if you guys want to take a look into my family's life. Nonetheless, Taurus, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys have been well. I hope you guys have been staying safe with everything that's going on in the world, taking as much precaution as possible, but also keeping them vibes motherfucking high. Let's get a crack and bull gang and see what we got coming through, okay? Messages for Taurus here. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs throughout April 2020. What messages do we got coming through for the beautiful Taurus, please? Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs throughout April 2020. What messages do we got coming through for Taurus here? Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs throughout April 2020. All right, bull gang. Let's go ahead and get ourselves one last shuffle and see what messages we got coming through. Hopefully, we got some fantastic stuff. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Taurus, the overall energy for your reading here is the full card. You can be connecting possibly with an Aries. Your current energy, Taurus, is the Ten of Swords. The person you're dealing with is the Queen of Pentacles, and the outcome that's present is the Four of Pentacles. Taurus, you're, you're setting yourself free from a situation here. You appear to be setting yourself free from somebody. Now, I feel like as you're setting yourself free from this person, this person you're dealing with is still giving time to the situation. Okay, so someone still wants to give time to you, but you're over it. All right. And with the outcome that's present for Pentacles, they're holding on. So I feel like we're in the situation here, Taurus, where you have decided to let somebody go. You feel like that's what's best for your energy. You feel like that's what's best for you. And somebody just kind of can't fathom that yet. Somebody here is still holding on and I'm not seeing them wanting to let go. So we do have somebody here still clinging um, for some sort of reason, obviously, because I'm sure that they care, but there's definitely a little bit more to it that we'll get into. So someone is still holding on to you, but ultimately you've wanted to end this connection to be free right now, to focus on your own energy. Um, you know, there's a quote that comes from Ralph Smart, shout out Infinite Waters, uh, where basically it's not even a quote, he puts it in his comments a lot where he says like, you know, to protect your energy, if you don't need, you don't need to commit to somebody. That's not the way that it's actually worded, but that's basically the premise of it where it says, um, you know, you don't have to feel guilty for canceling a commitment to protect your energy, you know? And I think that that's something important for me to convey to you. Um, if you need to walk out of a commitment, walk out of a relationship, walk out of a partnership with somebody because you just don't feel that it's serving you in the right direction for your path, don't feel guilty about that. That's okay. That's something that you need to do to, you know, do for yourself. So what I'm going to do here, Taurus, is I'm going to go over the person you're dealing with. I'm going to take a look at how they feel towards you and what's going on with them throughout the month of April. Then I'm going to take a look at how you feel towards them, what's going on with you throughout April. We'll see where energies are aligning and then the outcome for the month, okay? Now, in regards to who Taurus is dealing with, how do they feel towards Taurus, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs throughout April 2020. How does the person that Taurus is dealing with feel towards Taurus? and what is going on with them throughout April 2020. Let's take a look. Oh, damn. We dropped out three cards. We got here the Seven of Wands, the Emperor, and then the Ten of Cups. We got the Six of Cups. We got the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the, oh, the Moon card, and then the Lovers. Give me one more card and the King of Cups. So this person's a little hurt, okay? Definitely hurt for sure. But I also feel like they're not very good at respecting boundaries 110% here, Taurus. So whoever you're connecting with, the fact that things aren't going in their way is definitely upsetting them. Um, and I think a lot of people have been on this side of a relationship before. I think a lot of people have been broken up with somebody they deeply care about. And because that person doesn't feel what they feel, it bothers them. I think we've all experienced this. And I feel like the person you're dealing with is definitely in a place where they are they're incredibly upset because they feel like they did a lot for you. They feel like they gave you so much love and so much happiness and they feel like you two were perfect, right? Now the Emperor card here, the Ten of Cups here, the Seven of Wands here, this all talks about how they're kind of baffled that you walked away because this is that person going through processing emotions, you know? They're processing what happened. 
it was kind of for them, I feel like it came like a little bit of a shock to them that you may have wanted to end what you two had. And they're coming from this position where they just don't necessarily understand it yet. That's because they got to process emotions. Now, six of cups here, 10 of pentacles, you know, when your person thinks back to the past, when you two were together, they thought that you were happy with them. They thought that you were stable with them and enjoyed the connection that you two had at hand. But now they feel that without you, they are in this emotional state. They feel lost without you. Okay? And keep in mind, Taurus, it's not your fault. Okay? The lover's card here, the king of cups here, this person loves you. They care for you. But you don't feel like it's right. And we're going to figure out why. But ultimately, who you're dealing with, they're going through a various different amount of emotions. They're going through a period of processing where there's going to be moments where they can't understand why you walked away, where they don't see what you see. And they're never going to see what you see because they're on the other side and you're on the other side. They are the dumpy, you are the dumper. And there's a reason why you had to walk away from this. You had your personal reasons. We'll look into that. Uh, but the other person here, they're not going to know that because they feel like they treated you right on a genuine level. But maybe they didn't and maybe they never saw it. These are things we don't know just yet. So let's take a look into what's going on with you and how you feel, and then we can gather some more clarity, okay? Now, in regards to how Taurus feels towards the person they're dealing with and what's going on with Taurus, let's take a look. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs throughout April 2020. How does Taurus feel towards the person they're dealing with? And what is going on with Taurus throughout April 2020? First card out, we got here the Five of Pentacles. We got here the Nine of Swords. We got here the Six of Swords. We have the World card, the High Priestess, the King of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and then the Queen of Swords. So I do feel that that message in the beginning was much needed, the message of not being guilty, because here we have the Nine of Swords and then we have the Five of Pentacles. Uh, when you first walked away from this person, you may have felt guilty here, okay? Nine of Swords talking about being anxious, going through a little bit of pain. And any breakup is painful, even for the person who does it. You know, even for the person who's dumping someone or letting someone go, it's still painful for them. So I feel like there was definitely a little bit of pain and guilt there. But ultimately, you got through that, Six of Swords, because you're looking at what's better. You know, you're looking at the greater good in this situation, what's serving you, uh, rather than what's serving anybody else. But I feel here personally that one of the biggest reasons why you felt like this connection had to come to an ending really came from a gut feeling. I don't think that you had anything super personal against this person, Taurus. I don't think that you had any hate towards them or any ill will. I just think you felt like it was time for it to end. And unfortunately, that's how certain relationships unfold. Sometimes you just get this gut feeling that it's not the person, you know, you just get this gut feeling that the person you're with isn't the one for you. And sometimes that love just phases out. And I feel like we're dealing with one of those cases here where that love is phasing out and you don't really know what to do, but you feel like the best choice for you to make is the choice to be free right now. A lot of you guys are wanting to focus on your singality and focus on other things in your life. You may not even be in a place where you want to focus on love. You may be focusing on your wealth, your material things, your career, where you're going in life and what your future is and what it is that you're trying to create. So a lot of you guys might not even have any sort of negativity towards this person. It might just be that you want to put your focus in a different direction rather than putting your focus in a relationship. And the Six of Pentacles here with the Queen of Swords, I think that that's the clear cut answer. The clear cut answer is that you're taking a look at where your time is being invested in your life and what is going to bring the most balance to your life. So a lot of Torians right now, um, I feel, are really putting a lot of focus into where their future is going to be. And it's not so much about your future in your love life. It's more so about your future of where you're going in regards to living your life, in regards to finding your own happiness and finding your dream job and finding uh, the home that you desire, whatever. This is all about you really just taking a look at where you want to go in your future and what you want to do with your life. And I just don't feel like companionship or partnership is what you are totally invested in right now, okay? And uh, this person is hoping that, you know, you, you come back to them. They're hoping that you offer them another chance and see where it goes. But I just don't think that love is on the brain right now. Love's not on the brain, okay? Clarify here the Fool card. Why does Taurus feel more free? Okay, we got here the Devil and we got here the Knight of Wands. I feel like a lot of you guys don't want anything holding you back. It feels like you know, relationships can tend to hold you back sometimes when it comes towards your work 
relationships can also hold you back sometimes when you are focusing on um, going through a journey of trying to find your own happiness. As unfortunate as that is, it's rather true. Um, even if you have the best person ever, you know, sometimes they can hold you back from learning how to love yourself and learning how to, uh, you know, go through your life individually and figure things out. And sometimes you need space to figure things out. Even if you have the most supportive and amazing person there, you know, they can't always help you. You got to help yourself. So I do feel like a lot of you Tauruses right now are just trying to really push yourself away from being attached to anything uh, so that you can kind of go through this journey on your own, this journey of solitude, this journey of self-love and learning how to deal with life on your own and live your life on your own terms and not have anybody inter excuse me, interfere with any decisions, you know? Here's a good example. Let's just say, Taurus, that you're a filmmaker and you know that LA is gonna be the best place for you to go for filmmaking, going straight to Hollywood, of course. And you know that that's gonna be the best thing for you and you can pursue that passion. But let's just say you're in a relationship and your partner doesn't want you to leave. Let's say you live in Pennsylvania. Your person doesn't want you to leave. They don't want you to go to LA to pursue filmmaking because you're gonna leave them. That essentially is holding you back. And you don't want to do that to somebody. You don't want to hold them back and you don't want them to hold you back. So what's the next best thing? Well, in order to pursue your passions, sometimes you got to move forward the chariot and let go of things that can potentially hold you back. And I feel like when it comes towards relationships and love and romance right now, that's what you feel is more of a setback than anything. So I do feel like Tauruses are kind of in this position right now where even if they have an amazing relationship, even if they have an amazing connection to certain types of people, uh, you don't want people to kind of interfere in on your journey. You don't want anything that's going to tie you or hold you back to where you don't want to be. And I feel like this all comes from a premise of you not being necessarily happy where you originally were. You know, for the past couple of months, I've seen in Taurus readings, um, a lot of Tauruses recognizing that they don't like the life they're currently living, whether it's the amount of money you're making, whether it's where you live, whether it's the job you have. I've just seen a lot of Tauruses taking a look at their material life and not liking what they're seeing, or even taking a look at their friendships and not liking what they're seeing. And I've seen that you guys have gone into this position of wanting to do what you really desire. And sometimes in order to do what you really desire, you have to have nothing that can set you back. So I feel like right now, despite anybody else's feelings and despite what anybody else wants, you know, you are unapologetically being selfish because you have to live your life in the way that you feel is fit. And it sucks, but truthfully, you're doing what you got to do for you because you know that three of wands, the more you do what you want, the more chance you have of that sun shining on in, that happiness coming towards you, okay? And here's the thing too, we're gonna drop a real truth bomb here because this is true. Even if you have the greatest relationship ever, even if you have the most supportive friends or family ever and the most love from them, no one else's love can fulfill you like the love for thyself. No one else's love can fulfill you except for the love of thyself. The love that you have for yourself is more powerful than the love that anybody else can give to you. And it's good. I think everybody naturally should have good relationships where people show so much love and support for you, but your own love for yourself is always going to be more valuable and it's always going to be more important, you know? So nonetheless, Queen of Wands, you're being bold here. You're unapologetically doing what you need to do uh, to get yourself on a path of happiness. You know, you're entering a new cycle, the world card. Uh, where you finally are deciding to take a step back from being that caretaker because Tauruses can be uh, caretaker, uh, caretakers, Jesus, I <laughs> couldn't say it. Uh, you're taking a step back from being the caretaker for everybody else and now you're taking care of yourself, you know? And I think that that's what's most important for you, all right? In regards to where energies are aligning between Taurus and this person, let's take a look. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout April 2020. Where are energies aligning? We got here the Nine of Wands. We got here the Four of Wands. We have here the Star card. And we have here the Ace of Cups. Um, I feel like this person, Taurus, is going to hold on to you for quite a long time. Um, even if they don't admit it to you, even if they keep it to themselves, this person is going to hold on and hope that one day you guys will be together again. So they're going to wait for you. And here's the thing, you know, it, if they wait for you, that's their choice. But if they don't, that's their choice as well. The truth of the situation is, is that as long as you're doing what you need to do for yourself, 
that's what's important to bring into your awareness right now and that's what's important to focus on. So if this person waits for you, they're gonna wait for you until they decide to let go. Uh, but you know, I always think that it's in anybody's best interest to let go of someone they love, you know, set somebody free if they come back, it's meant to be all that stuff, you know, really resonates in this situation. You know, if you love somebody, set them free. And you know, if it's meant to be, you'll be together. I think is that's something that's important to say, you know, and ask for the overall outcome between you two. Let's take a look towards Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You're at April 2020. And we got here, boom, Queen of Cups. You'll always care for this person, Taurus. They'll always care for you, but there will always be a disconnect between you two until they realize that you need to take care of yourself first before you can be with anybody else. That you need to take care of what you are going through in your day-to-day -day life before you can be with somebody else. Where your happiness needs to come first. Where your value needs to come first. Your worth, your desires, your dreams need to come first before you can be involved with somebody on a deep romantic level. Okay, I don't feel like you're ready to settle down yet. I feel like your life is just beginning and I feel like you're ready to finally explore it because for so long, Taurus, you may have been uh, pushing that dream deep down inside. I feel like there's a good amount of Tauruses who have been not doing what they desired for so long to the point where now you're living it out. Now you're doing what you want. Now you're living your best life because it has been uh, tamed inside you for so long that the beast is being unleashed. And that shit happens. Sometimes we get so repressed from everything we've wanted to do, it gets buried deep and deep and deep and deep and deep and deep inside to the point where eventually you gotta unleash the beast and follow through with what you wanna do. So the bull in you is coming out. The hunger in you is coming out and you're going ahead and fucking going for it and doing what you want. Some of you guys right now may be in your 30s living out your 20s because you never experienced it. Nonetheless, you're tapping back into that childlike wonder enjoying the wonderlust and enjoying doing what you need to do and uh not letting anybody hold you back because you feel like right now the most important thing for you is to live out your life in the way that you see fit and not let anybody interfere with that so nonetheless Taurus, thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed of course if it resonates let me know down in the comments down below and you know no disrespect to the cross watcher but i feel like Taurus right now needs to live their life in the way that they see fit and when you know Taurus, when you're ready to settle down settle down but for now you gotta do your thing bro and i support you either way I do. So nonetheless, man, much love to you guys. Have an awesome, fantastic, and amazing rest of your April. And I will catch you guys for your April 2020 mid-monthlies. Much love, guys. Peace.